Welcome everyone. So today I am going to teach you a very very important trick to find literally squares of any number. Let's say from one to hundred. Okay, you can actually do this orally. Okay, so see for lot of these numbers there are some um, what do you say some basic things which need to be satisfied. Only then your trick will apply. Okay, so that will be. There are there is one trick which will apply for numbers which are closer to fifty, then numbers closer to hundred, okay, and then numbers ending in five, okay. But apart from this, at the end, I am going to show you a universal trick, which will apply no matter what is the condition, okay. So for this particular trick to apply, there will be no need or no prerequisite which you need to follow in order to get to the square okay so now let's very quickly see what happens when the numbers are ending in 5 okay so let's do 25 square then 35 square then 45 square okay so now what you have to do over here is see your answer will get divided into three, two parts okay and the first part of your answer is just multiplying this first number with the next number. So what number comes after 2 is 3. So you will multiply 2 with 3, you get the answer as 6. And the last part is 25. So answer for you, this one is 625. Similarly here, what is the next number which comes after 3 is 4. So you multiply 4 and 3, you get 12. And then you do 5 square which is 25. So answer for 35 square is 1, 2, 2, 5. Okay, now let's try and understand what will be square of 45. That would be what? You just take the next number of 4 which is what? 5. Multiply 4 and 5 you get what? 20. And then put 5 square as the last part which is 25. So answer is 2, 0, 2, 5. Okay, so now for your homework or you can quickly comment in the comment section. Tell me what should be the answer of 65 square. Okay, now coming to numbers which are what closer, closer to 50. Okay, so let's take for example, we need to find 49 square. Okay, so what happens in 49 square is first you will do, first you will see how, how much away is it from 50. So here we can say it is minus 1, right? 49 and 50. Basically, you subtract 1 from 50, you get the answer as 49. Okay? So here, in order to find the answer, all you have to do is, sorry, here also your answer gets split in two parts. Okay? Here, all you have to do over here is, you will take the base as 25. So now we knew that we subtracted 1 from 50 to get 49 correct so here what we'll do we'll subtract 1 from 25 we'll get 24 and then all you have to do is put just one square so please understand by writing your squares if it is a single digit you will write it in two digit form so instead of just writing one you will write it as zero one so answer for 49 square is what two four zero one okay now let's look at 47 square so now it is what 50 minus 3 gets you 47 correct so you will subtract 3 from 25 that gets you what 22 and then all you have to do is put 3 square as your answer so 3 is what square of 3 is 9 but like I said we'll put it in double digit form so here also you'll write it as 09 so answer comes out to be 2209 now let's very quickly see what is the square of 42. So here we are subtracting 8 from 50. So let's subtract 25. Sorry, let's subtract 8 from 25. So your answer comes out to be 17. And then all you have to do is put 8 square, which is 64. You saw how literally I can do all of this orally. I don't even have to worry about putting it into a calculator or my calculations okay because these these calculations are quite easy to do
so now let's see you might be thinking that acha this is all these are quite closer to 50 but in lesser order what happens if it is 52 so here i can say we are adding 2 to 50 to get 52 correct so here in your answer since the base was 25 Okay, so here also you will add two. See, there we were subtracting two, so now we'll add two. So twenty-five plus two twenty-seven. Again, square of two is four, but we'll write it in two-digit form, which is zero four. Let's do fifty-nine square. So fifty-nine is what? Nine digits ahead of fifty. So you will add nine to twenty-five. That gets you what? Thirty-four, and then just put nine square, which is what? Eighty-one. Correct. See how easily you could do this. Let's try. Let's try for sixty-one square. Okay. So you are adding what eleven. So your see understand. In this case, things might change a little bit. Please understand. Your last part needs to have just two digit as the answer. Okay. So your what happens in this case is. So your what happens is. We will add eleven to twenty-five. So when you add eleven to twenty-five, you get the answer as what thirty-six, and then you will put square of eleven, which is what one twenty-one. Now, like I said, your final answer just needs to have last two digits of your square. So you'll put two one, and this one gets added to thirty-six, so you'll get thirty-seven. So final answer for sixty-one square gets to three seven two one. I hope this is absolutely clear to everyone. Now let's look at squares which are closer to hundred. Okay, so let's talk about ninety-seven square. Now over here, what we can do in this case is see. We can say that it is just what hundred minus three to get ninety-seven, and here we'll take the base as hundred. Please remember, for fifty the base was twenty-five. But for hundred, the base will always remain hundred only. Okay, so now what you will do is you will subtract three from ninety seven. So answer comes out to be what ninety four, and then you will put square of three, which is what nine. But we'll put it in two digit form, which is zero nine. Similarly, let's talk about ninety two square. Again, it is how many digits away away from hundred? It is eight digits away. So you'll subtract eight from ninety two. So you will get that as what eighty four. And then just put eight square, which is what sixty four. You saw how easily you could do this. Acha. Now let's try for more than hundred. What about one zero two? So again, it is what two digits ahead of hundred. So you will add two to one zero two. That is what one zero four. And then just put two square, which is what zero four. Let's talk about one zero seven square. Add seven because it's seven digit away from a hundred. So add seven to one zero seven, you'll get one one four, and then just put seven square, which is what forty nine. I hope this is absolutely clear to every one. Now the final part of the trick, which is universal. Okay, all you have to do is <clears throat> see. For example, if you had to take seventy three square, now for this it becomes a bit tricky because it is way too ahead of fifty. And it is way too behind of hundred. Okay, so in this kind of a scenario, what you will do is you will put what you will just write seven square, which is what forty nine, and then you will write three square, which is what again. Please write. Remember, writing the squares has to be in two digit form, so you write zero nine. Then the next step is just multiply seven into three into two. That gets you what forty two. But while writing this forty two, you have to make sure that you are leaving the unit digit of your earlier step. Okay, and then you are writing down the answer. So now you are writing nine to add them. So you are getting thirty one carry five three two nine. So five three two nine is the square of seventy three. Okay. Now let's very quickly see for some other other numbers. So let's say eighty nine square. So eighty nine square is what eight into eight that gets you are sixty four. Square of nine is what eighty one. Then you multiply eight into nine into two, so seventy two into two gets you what one forty four. Add them, so here it is one twelve one carry nine seven seven nine two one is your answer.
so i hope you have got in the way of doing this make sure while ever whenever you do this you just have to remember because this is super crucial you just have to remember the unit digit of your first tab has to be left alone while writing down the product of all of these three numbers mentioned let's very quickly see for some other numbers like let's say if we wanted to find 39 square so that is what 9 3 square is 9 but please understand here we don't need to write it in 09 form because see in unit digit only you need to make sure that the the answer is written in terms of two digits now 9 square is what 81 now all you have to do is just multiply 3 into 2 into 9 that gets you what 54 okay but you make sure that you are leaving the one as it is so add one then 8 plus 4 gets you what 12 one carry so 1521 is your answer for 39 I hope this is extremely clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Acha, one more. Sorry, sorry. Forgot. You please tell me what will be the square of twenty-seven in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.